Book of Toth, Spaceborn Continued, explaining that man is a creature of the cosmos and is far greater than the bounds of our body. And he goes on to say, Haki, O man, and know of thy bondage, know how to free thyself from the toils. Out of the darkness shall ye rise upward, one with the light and one with the stars. Follow ye ever the path of wisdom. Only by this can ye rise from below. Ever man's destiny leads him onward into the curves of infinity's all. Know ye, O man, that all space is ordered. Only by order are ye one with all. Order and balance are the law of the cosmos. Follow, and ye shall be one with the all. He who would follow the pathway of wisdom open must be to the flower of life, extending his consciousness out of the darkness, flowing through time and space in the all. Deep in the silence, first ye must linger until at last ye are free from desire, free from the longing to speak in the silence. Conquer by silence the bondage of words, abstaining from eating until you have conquered desire for food. That is bondage of soul. Desire, earthly things, seem to make our soul a little sticky to the body or magnetic or something of that type. Then he goes on to say, Then lie ye down in the darkness, close ye your eyes from the rays of light. It's interesting to note that when we do close our eyes and the rays of light disappear, that the DMT molecule is released within our brain, as we have to in the dream state, and something very interesting happens. It appears that the third eye, which is a type of optical lens, seems to open. And um, I'll cover this in some other chapter, but I'll go on to say. He says, Center thy soul force in the place of thine consciousness, shaking it free from the bonds of the night. Place in thy mind place the image thy desireth. Picture the place thy desireth to see. Vibrate back and forth with thy power. Loosen thy soul from out of its night. Fiercely must thou shake with all thy power until at last thy soul shall be free. It seems to be a type of astral travel or a remote viewing of something to do with this where um, vibrate back and forth with thy power. Loosen the soul from out of its night. Fiercely must thou shake with all thy power until at last thy soul shall be free. Mighty beyond words is the flame of the cosmic, hanging in planes unknown to man, mighty and balanced, moving in order, music of harmonies far beyond man, speaking with music, singing with colour, flame from the beginning of eternity's all. Spark of the flame art thou, O my children, burning with colour and living with music, List to the voice, and thou shalt be free. Consciousness free is fused with the cosmic, one with the order and the law of the all. Know ye not, man, that out of darkness light shall flame forth, a symbol of all? Pray ye this prayer for attaining of wisdom, for the coming of light to the all. And the prayer says, Mighty spirit of light that shines through the cosmos, Draw my flame closer in harmony to thee. Lift up my fire from out of the darkness, magnet of fire that is one of the all. Lift up my soul, thy mighty and potent. Child of the light, turn not away. Draw me in power to melt in thy furnace, one with all things and all things in the one. Fire of the life strain and one with the brain. When ye have freed thy soul from its bondage, know that for ye the darkness is gone. Ever through space ye may seek wisdom, bound not by fetters forged in flesh. Onward and upward into the morning, free flash, O soul, to the realms of light. Move thy in order, move thy in harmony, freely shalt move with the children of light. Seek ye and know ye my key of wisdom, thus, O man, you shall surely be free.
that's the end of the, his baseborn chapter. The next one is chapter 5, the Emerald Tablet 5, The Dweller of Unorth.